Hello there viewers, Axel here. Welcome to another Axel Tech video. Probably shouldn't shift in my chair as I'm doing an intro. Meh. Anyway, so this one is uh, directly inspired by a, I think, uh, God, his name was John Reed that reached out to me with a question about Resolve. He was having trouble getting Resolve to detect his secondary hard drive, and that made me think, like, huh, you know, Ubuntu by default doesn't automatically, like, mount your secondary hard drives or anything, like, is actually, I sort of remember being somewhat easy to set up on Windows, so I'm going to show you guys how you can do that on Ubuntu, because yes, you can, let me just go to my uh, file manager here, now, okay, also, to preface, I know this says on Ubuntu, I am on elementary, elementary is an Ubuntu derivative, the process is basically the same just to clarify that. So, let's say for example, I want to ha access uh, Muto here, my games drive. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, some people will get it. So I have my games drive here and I can click on that to manually mount it and that puts it under, as you can see with the uh, pop-up there, Media Axle Muto. So it is mounted there. <clears throat> However, in my experience, trying to set it up to automatically just mount to that point where it gets manually mounted to, that kind of causes issues, so that's not what we're going to do. What we are going to do is I'm going to make a new folder in my home directory. I'm just going to call that games, and we're going to go to disks, it might also show up as GNOME disks, depending on where you're trying to uh, look. There's probably other applications to do this with as well, but for me, GNOME disks is easiest. So from there, you go and find the correct drive. Make sure it's not mounted when you're doing this. So if this is a square, click it to unmount the drive. Don't be doing anything with the drive. Make sure it's unmounted. Click the little cogwheels here. Go to Edit Mount Options. Turn off defaults, and you're going to change. Whoops, going to change the mount point to the new folder that you just made. So in my case, that's going to be home, Axel, games. In your case, it'll be instead of Axel, of course, whatever your username is, and then the name of the folder that you made. Remember, in Linux, uh, folder and file names are case sensitive. So remember that if you are a newer Linux user. So after that, click OK, put in your password to authenticate. All right, and let's click Mount. So now if we go into this new games folder, there's my games drive. Now the reason that you want to do this is, um, let's take Resolve here for example, with uh, some, like, some applications like Resolve, especially cross-platform slash, I guess, third-party type things they, if we, like, let's go to media storage here, for example, they're not going to look at your folder structure the same way that, like, your file manager would, for example, so it won't see your quick list of, like, hard drives and stuff, for example. So with Resolve, it's easier to just make the folder in your home directory. I'm not adding games to it. I'm adding my other drive back, my projects drive here. Choose that, and then save and let me actually open up a different project real quick for example and sure let's just go to the ever so popular linux mint 19.1 overview so then from there let's say if i want to render browse and then both of them show up here just fine and i can render to the proper folder under my projects drive so i hope this video was helpful for you guys who might be having problems with this. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Till next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you dudes in the next one.